Hi everybody, this is John from our HodgePodge Homestead. Heather's filming. We just got back from our Michigan 2018 YouTube Hoot Nanny put on by the Pratt Family Homestead. Uh, we had a blast. It was awesome. For all my friends out there that don't know what that is, it was just a whole bunch of local YouTube people from Michigan. We have some from uh, Mississippi, from Indiana, from North Carolina. All people that are related to, you know, our little homestead network. YouTube community <laughs> network right here. All, all in... Uh, Joined up at Somerset Center, I think it's Somerset Center. Somerset and, yeah, Beach Campground. Yeah, and had a great, great weekend camping. Um, people were like-minded, just people who love chickens. You know, <laughs> um, it was great. We had a great time. Um, we got home this afternoon, got our camper all set back up at home, and it's right there by the barn. Um, like I said, we just had a great time um, checking out the garden, and I'm eating sugar snap peas. Um, my granddaughters are going to be mad, but. Come on, check out our garden. We figured we'd give you a little bit of a garden tour. Step in. We've got our uh, sugar snap peas that I've never had grow this tall before. We bought these from where? Um, the her the heritage seeds or whatever you call uh, them. Where did you start those from seed? Yeah. Yeah, those were Baker Creek? Baker Creek, yeah. Yep. We got all these seeds from Baker Creek. Uh, more, our, well, most of our garden was from Baker Creek, but anyway. Yeah, these are absolutely sweet and wonderful. I can't wait for my granddaughters to get here because these will not leave the garden. I got one granddaughter that will eat the peas, give me the pods, and the other granddaughter that will eat all of it. So anyway, we go up from here to, I mean, obviously lettuce. I grew this, I didn't like it when it was first grown, so I need to get rid of it. It was just real kind of a prickly, I didn't care for it. I don't know what it was. We got some carrots growing. My walking onions are, are definitely ready to start harvesting so I can plant some more next year. Um, I, I can't wait to, to replant these and have them going again next year. We got three rows of tomatoes, we got romas, um, better boys, and we've got some, some self starters from last year. Volunteers. Uh, yeah, volunteers. Um, <laughs> A lot of our tomatoes we bought. Yeah, we bought, we, we started in, in inside and I think we started too soon because we didn't have a place to put them once they got to a certain size and it, it kind of just we, we definitely learned a lesson next year we're not going to start till later I didn't have a greenhouse outside to put them in and it was too cold we got that you know, real goofy winter we had so I don't um, remember where we, I think we got a lot of them at Walmart didn't yeah we? we actually most most of these came from Walmart anyway um, we're, we're gonna try again next year with all our Baker Creek seeds and see how it worked it worked out really good they grew great it was our it was our mistake our you know, first time ever doing it. But we got a ton of tomatoes coming in. I just had a couple cherry tomatoes and they are so sweet, so good. My granddaughter Bella is gonna go nuts. We got several rows of peppers here going that are going really good. I've already had several bell peppers off them. I just like cutting a bell pepper and eating with ranch dressing. I don't like to cook bell peppers. But we have a zucchini squash in here that's gonna make like eight loaves of bread. I'm gonna pick it right now for you. This is the biggest zucchini, I think. I think it might be a world record fair zucchini. <laughs> Probably not. Some of those no, vegetables get pretty big. It isn't as long as I thought it was, but that's going to be some really good <laughs> zucchini bread. There's another real big one up here that wasn't here when we left for camping. It definitely we'll isn't a world record, and, but it hey, is big. Right here, all this acorn squash grew from last year. I didn't plant one acorn squash. Look at the pepper. I didn't, plant, I didn't plant one acorn squash this year. And look at this. This is better than the acorn squash I grew last year. <laughs> and I've got probably 25 of them. I grew them last year on purpose and didn't get squat. And this year they, they're volunteers and I'm getting tons of them. Those here, are the bottle I have, babies. <laughs> I have spaghetti squash over here that again is volunteer. And again. That's a big zucchini. <laughs> there's a monster <laughs> zucchini right there. We could have brought this and had bread for everybody this year. Yeah. Anyway, we'll have to make some for sure. Um, that's our garden this year. I had grand plans, lots of different things that I really wanted to do. I'm, I'm starting to take on a little bit of Doug and Stacy's deal with uh, aging in place. You know, I'm getting older. I only have 552 days of work left. 551. Jeff and, uh, was the one. Uh, Jeff, Jeff will know too. He'll yeah. Tell you he's probably got the uh, um, countdown. Our, uh, <laughs> What is Jeff? Um, Homestead Dad. Homestead Dad, that's right. I know his name, born his webpage, and that's more important. <laughs> then over here we got um, onions. 
And on Thursday before we were leaving, I, I was just really curious, so I pulled one of my five gallon buckets of uh, potatoes that we put in, and I got like nine potatoes out of this little bucket. I'm not even a potato fan, but I just wanted to try it and see what it was like. And it, it was dying like this, all the plants up top were dying. I thought, well, that must mean the plant's done. So I pulled them out, uh, my daughter Kaylee and I pulled them out, and man, we had tomato, or, uh, potatoes down there. And um, they're, they're gonna be good, so I should have, you know, a decent, next year I'm gonna do like triple this. I can get these buckets free from a friend of mine who owns a tavern. Um, it looks like my, uh, my onions are getting ready to start harvesting too. They're starting to die off. I've never done onions before. These are all onions. These come from a, a local little store. They held, hold, held ice cream. I drilled holes in the bottom, put, you know, good dirt in there. Man, I'm growing onions. So my granddaughters helped me plant a lot of these. They're just little, little bulbs. So, uh, that's our garden this year. Um, we're going to be eating some good stuff out of it. We're going to do lots of we're going to put up a lot of tomatoes again this year. We haven't in several years. So this year we're going to put up tomatoes. Heather's going to make me some bread. I think we're going to do these all up, put them in the freezer so we can make bread when it cools off a little bit. Yeah, probably and, shred uh, them and put them in bags. After this weekend, I can't wait to start making some sourdough bread. <laughs> and uh, uh, Mr. Pratt, we did not get any starter from you. <laughs> we meant to. We chatted for 45 <laughs> minutes this morning saying bye 10 times and we didn't get any starter from you. So... Maybe uh, we can... Well, no, we if can... I watched uh, Patty's video, I'm going to start... I'm going to do my own. <laughs> All right. We'll get some, or if not, we'll uh, we'll take a 35-minute drive and come steal some from you. <laughs> but um, we're, we're totally into it, and we can't wait to meet up with all you guys again. And again, for all my friends that aren't homesteaders that just follow our channel because we're, we're friends at work or whatever, um, this whole lifestyle we're doing, being the homesteading and growing our own food, growing our own meat, uh, we love it, and this weekend we, we were with like-minded people that didn't think we were nuts. <laughs> and uh, we we totally, thoroughly enjoyed that, and I just enjoyed meeting people that I'd only seen on video before. And um, you all came true, and... And everything we time. talked about was yeah. interesting and, yeah. Heather and educational. Is, Heather and... <laughs> is so excited, and she couldn't wait. She didn't want to leave. <laughs> you know, um, normally Heather's the one that's, okay, let's go, we're done. But she, she was uh, holding me back today, so... Um, again, I appreciate everybody who was at the Hoot and Annie this weekend. Had a great time, had fun. I'm glad to be home, even though I was only 25 minutes away. But still, um, it was a great weekend. We had a great time. And uh, I can't wait to be eating these. So uh, we'll see you all later. Have a nice day. And I hope to see you all again soon.